بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ مائی ڈیئر لٹل اسٹوڈنٹس ہاؤ آر یو آئی ہوپ یو آل آر گڈ اٹس اوور انگلش کلاس آئی ایم یور سبجیکٹ ٹیچر اینڈ دس از اوور لیکچر نمبر ٹوینٹی فور ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹڈی چیپٹر نمبر فورٹین آف یور انگلش ایکٹو انگلش بک پیج ففٹی ون ایز یو کین سی پیج ففٹی ون چیپٹر فورٹین نا واٹ از ریٹرن ایٹ دا چاپ فرسٹ ریڈ دس آ ٹیچر آ ڈاکٹر ایٹسیٹرا ٹیچر اینڈ ڈاکٹر لیٹس ریڈ دین آئی ول ایکسپلین واٹ دے آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹیل یو ان دس چیپٹر لیٹ سی ہی از اے ڈاکٹر اے ڈاکٹر She is a nurse, a nurse. He is a soldier, a soldier. He is a sailor, a sailor. She is a beggar, a beggar. He is a gardener, a gardener. He is a shopkeeper, a shopkeeper. She is a servant, a servant. This is the full sentence from these sentences. They took out just these words. These words are noun. What are nouns? Doctor, the name of some person, place or thing. So doctor, nurse, soldier, sailor, beggar, gardener, shopkeeper, servant. And what nouns are related to? Do you think they all related to something? Yes, I will explain you. Just wait on page 52. Again, you can see here, fisherman. He is a fisherman. He is a workman. He is a farmer. He is an engine driver. Okay, let's go to understand. Keep these words in your mind, a fisherman, a workman, doctor, nurse, engineers. Let's see, we call these are the professions or jobs and occupations. Professions or jobs and occupations, you can understand easily that both are uh, some of same kind because they, they are the kind of work or you can say this is a kind of an action or a word for which you are paid for. Means if you do some work and you get the money, it means these are professions and occupations. But there is a little difference between professions and occupation. Both words, profession and occupation means work to earn money. Suppose your father is a doctor, he works to earn money, to get money for you, understand? And if uh, maybe someone's father is a mechanic, so he also works to get money for you. So what is the difference between profession and jobs and occupation? Let's see first, what is a profession? A profession requires a degree. Do you understand? Means higher studies. A profession requires a degree or completed studies at a university or other institutions of higher education. So they are professions who get higher education from some universities and get the degrees. They are professionals. So profession means which people studied a lot to earn money and get the degree or it involves extensive training and special knowledge understand and what is occupation and occupation is the just a job you are paid to do means no need to study higher it's just do any work to get money It is the way you earn a living. Understand? Suppose someone is mechanic or someone is a worker. 
So they just need a simple training to get the money. No need to get the higher education. Professions get higher education, then work to get money and occupation, just a simple training or without a training, you help someone and get the money. Understand the difference between the professions and occupation. Just like this, these are some professionals or occupations. Suppose, look, he is a doctor. What he is saying, hi, I am a doctor. My job is to treat patient. Doctor's job is to treat patient. Picture number two, hi, I'm a pilot. My job is to operate airplane. Hi, I am a policeman. My job is to catch thieves. Hi, I'm a teacher. My job is to teach students just like me. I am your teacher and it's my job to teach you, to teach you new things, to give you ideas about the different things. So I am a teacher. Hi, I am a scientist. My job is to invent new things. I'm a soldier. My job is to protect the nation. And I'm a chef. My job is to cook food in hotels and restaurants. Understand, children, these are the different professions for which they need higher studies. Again, see this page, look, a doctor, nurse, soldier, sailor, beggar, gardener, shopkeeper, servant. Here, doctor is a professional. It's a profession. They studied a lot, five to 10 years, they studied a lot, and then they get the degree of doctor, and then they earn money. Nurse get no need for higher education, they need the training like soldiers, they also get higher education and also the training. Sailor needs training. Beggar, beggar it's just a occupation of someone who cannot do anything, and but they earn money by begging. So it's also their occupation. It's not, you can say it's not a profession. Gardener, shopkeeper, servant, they are their occupation. Gardener, works hard to get money, but he did not take any degree. That's like shopkeeper needs just a training and earn money and like the servant, do the household work and get the money. So same like the fisherman, workman, farmer and engine driver. Understand children? These are the different types of professions and occupation. So this chapter is about these professions and occupations. It's a, just a simple chapter to understand about the work that different people do to earn the money, to get the money. Okay. Now we have what we have. It's first we have here the read aloud. We need to memorize these spellings for the dictation, then we will move forward. What are these words? The words that have IR sound and UR. Sometimes the sound of IR and UR are same. Suppose look here, it's a girl, G-I-R-L, Earl, G Earl. Same like here. B U R N, burn, b earn, earl, earn. Sounds are same, but the letters are different. Understand? So, for these type of words, you memorize them properly. Girl, bird, shirt, skirt, all have same sound. Earl, erd, erd. Hurt. Understand? A dirty shirt. A dirty skirt. The words with you are sound. Burn. Turn. Purse. Nurse. Thursday. Saturday. 
you have to memorize them and need to write them in your notebooks and then you will be able to write the dictation by using sounds always try to learn the dictation by speaking these words and use your sounds to write the spellings okay smooth on page number 53 it's a revision it means you have already learned about these things in the previous pages in the previous chapters in previous lectures you have already have an idea about these things so here just the revision see what they are asking put in am is or are what are am is or are these are called helping verbs where you use am with i and where you use is with he she it or the singular noun and where you use are we use are for the plural let's see i am a doctor i am working in a hospital what will come here i am a shopkeeper i am working in a shop it's a very easy exercise for re revision so just do it quickly he is a fisherman he is working in a boat she what you use with she yes is a servant she is working in a house with they what word you use with they are because it's plural more than one so when there is more than one noun we use are they are they are nurses they are helping the doctor exercise b put in has a, or have same like this with singular noun you use am is and with singular noun you use has and when there are plural we use have i will tell you where we use have or have they are soldiers they have guns he is a shopkeeper he has a shop with single he you use has he is an engine driver again he has they are fishermen they yes have he is a farmer he has a farm understand children you know the use of have and has do you have an idea let's see here has used with one noun in the naming part with one noun these are the pronoun look he she it pronoun but singular noun or umar sara cat singular name of a boy single girl or an animal so we use has he has a blue shirt she has a bicycle it has a soft fur like this with a single name also we use the word has remember this and keep this in your mind and please don't forget whenever you write anything just remember with he she it or any single name single animal you write the word has used with one noun then we have here have used with more than one noun in the naming part with they we they are pronouns instead of writing people children or men we write they so with they you use have they have white cars they have white shirts they have blue shirts they have uh, pencils or we have anything uh, whatever you make a sentence you can say we have uh, different kinds of toys at our home or i and you i and you are singular but we use have with this pronoun i and you you have i have i have computer you have laptops just like this okay 
keep these key points in your mind and always use while writing and always see and check whenever you you read any story or any essay so see that what word they use where they use has and where they use the word have okay i know that you all are very good students so you must keep these points in your mind okay children let's move forward just like i told you have has you can again see here they with they have with he as i told you has he has they have he has okay then they say we exercises now we have exercise c where can you see these these men or you can say these uh, professionals or these persons who work to earn money where you find here you can see a fisherman i can see a fisherman in a boat a beggar i can see a beggar on the road or street servant i can see a servant in a house sailor i can see a sailor on a ship shopkeeper i can see a shopkeeper in a shop nurse i can see a nurse in a hospital so this exercise you must write in your notebooks with neat and clean writing same like this first you write a fisherman then a full sentence then a beggar in the next line then in the next line the full sentence this work should be done in your notebooks okay children very nice good girls and boys okay now we will move to the word book our word book has only one page for this chapter again related to the teacher doctor different professionals or the occupationist let's what are they you just have to match them it's already matching but you need to write here i didn't do anything here it's your job to do it mr green go a farmer so mr green is a farmer mr brown doctor so what you write here mr brown is a doctor mr gray is a sailor mr jan no mr white mr white is a shopkeeper mr jan is a fisherman miss jan uh is a nurse mr ali is a soldier then miss amin is a teacher in each sentence after writing the names you use the word is a then their profession okay children this is one page for word book you have to do it by your own understand it's very easy but your writing should be good okay good we have completed our chapter number 14 and our lesson is done inshallah i will see you in the next lecture see you until then